I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass. Slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh uh, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna, cause the yams enormous. What's in? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10, 10, 10. Yeah. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. What's up, folks? This is your boy, One Gun, here, and today I have to redraw something. Something I've, I've, I've been wanting to do for over a little over a year. I wanted to read this to you guys, but I wanted to make sure Joe was in the spot that he didn't have the power to take to, to take it down. Uh, because he uh, <laughs> because he he done this before when I read stuff off. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, so I had to wait for my troll to be a little weakened for me to do this. Now, I know he got on YouTube today and he may have said something once again that was irrelevant, doesn't pertain to him, 
nor me, but most likely is something that I can probably most likely use against him because everything he basically describes is basically something he has done to me, i.e. filing fake DMC reports. Now, here it is. So, it is against the law to file false DMC takedown notices. I have the proof that Joe signed all these takedown notices. I know because his name is on them and his so-called fake business is on it. And he put his address, the 69 Oxbow White Lakes, Michigan address on it. We know, Joe, that you sent these to me. They were in your name and everything else. Now, what Joe says that I signed some fake DMC notices, well, A, he doesn't have no proof, never had no proof, and will ever not have any proof proof because joe just makes it up as he goes along and me and my friend solly was thinking maybe just maybe joe is actually retarded and it was actually like maybe he is maybe he is maybe he has something mentally wrong with it and retardation is 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 something that is not is something that's not laughable it's a very very serious disorder that some people have and we do believe joe has it we do believe joe because the way he acts because he doesn't uh because he he can't comprehend things like normal human beings would so that would probably say that you know he's probably not lying he's just probably mentally retarded and he can't re understand the stuff so so here we go folks so here we go folks here we go hold on let me let me let me get my bing all right so uh here we go folks uh, hold up, I need to get this up so when people talk to me, I can talk back to them. I know who's talking to me, so this restream chat is awesome. I advise you all to get it if you can. But this weekend, I'm going to do dual streams this weekend. I'm going to do some drawing, some artwork, some artwork and some drawing over the weekend uh, for a friend. Um, I'm going to be doing a little uh, finishing up on the alien pack that I started with the female. I did some work on it this morning. I finished her off, do her boots and her arm gloves and and uh, start the process of doing other things. See, I can I can actually talk about Joe and do other stuff. I could do that. All right, we 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 can do that all weekend. I mean, I can. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. I gotta get my my Facebook folks up. I'm gonna get my Facebook folks out really quick. I don't want Joe to. See, I can't let my Facebook folks. Uh, Joe see my Facebook folks page. So let's go over to a certain, uh, here we go. Now, uh, like it said, it says, um, it says, so my troll tried to get rid of a conversation <laughs> I, oh, that's supposed to be had. I must have actually hit the G. I had with him on the Mixmo website. This is this this uh, website. This is so. This oh, uh, this is his so-called victory. All right, dude, I want to show y'all why Joe thinks it's a victory. I want to show you what Joe always does when he wants to lie. I mean, he tries to lie, and let me, and I want to show you how Joe lies and tries to get away with it. Um, there's oh, oh victory taunt. Dang, I really I must have I did this on my laptop today, for, folks. So this should be here. As of high as T H E A having a thread removed, <laughs> and I go, hey, guess what? I have the whole conversation, folks. You see, when a troll like back like Joseph Elmy Peak thinks he had gotten away with something it means he had not i was waiting for a day let me put this day to read read this in the open uh i should be right here uh he was so glad to get rid of the link just read what he said <laughs> and uh i'm gonna stop it right there because i'm tired of correcting myself but here is what joe uh, here's what Joe tried to hide from you guys. All right, so this is the 3D scammer news report. We expect that we expose them before they get you. This is the uh, this is my page. This page is dedicated to all the shenanery. And oh yeah, I'm gonna re-up these videos. I, f I forgot that I had set these videos to private to hide from Joe. But this is all the chicanery and crazy stuff that Joe has done. And uh, uh, this is this is a uh, hold up. Where's my trophy? 
But basically, right back here is my trophy wall. <laughs> I, I'm going to redo this to actually add uh, Gumroad, uh, Sketchfab, uh, Facebook, and YouTube on this sucker. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, Joe, Mr. Bones, I went over to... Uh, Went over to Mixamo, to this Mixamo thread, and uh, got rid of the thread by saying he's going to sue them. He's going to do that. They're ruining his business. All that. I mean, he, the same thing he did to Unity. You know, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue this, sue this, or sue that, and and basically, uh, and basically uh, had not this thread, but another thread. Now the other thread, I did find a video where I went to that whole other thread, and that video is going to be funny, because I just found it. I'm taking all the stuff off of it so we can read through it again. But this is what Joe didn't want to show you all. So here is here is Joe's victory. Uh, here's Joe's uh, victory right here, y'all. Um, if y'all can see it, let me see if I can go bring it up. So, Alright, so this is what Joe did. All right, This is back when I was on 3D Scammers. And uh, I was broadcasting on the 3D scammers mostly. And it says, uh, this is what he used to call the uh, 3D hypocrites. He called it the New Music City live stream, which was the original name for the 3D hypocrites. And then it went to the free 3D models thing. So he goes, uh, the New City live stream commented, um, without this link, your accusations are baseless against Joe and Trubo. So you put the link up where he had removed. He, he removed the post. Joe had removed the whole thing for the forum board. And he's like, my accusations. So I let Joe think that he won. All right. But he didn't because I have the whole conversation here. <laughs> the whole conversation. Everything. Look, the whole thing, Joe. The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It is true. Um, so, so what it was basically is I made this thread called "Alert: True Bones Got Dies Boot on Sketchfab." Private Joe busted, banned to twenty forty four, and this thread thing stayed up there for a long time. It stayed up there since twenty sixteen. Joe had it removed last year, um, and um, it's it's basically. Um, let me see. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's basically this, folks. I'll show you exactly what it is. I had took this, the script I made for this animation I did. Why is Joe complaining about all my videos about him? I mean, I thought he wanted me to talk about him. I thought he wanted me to let everybody know he was selling garbage. And he's a racist and a bigot. I thought Joe wanted that. I mean, he he does. I mean, he broadcasts it every day on his channel. And I thought he was doing it, you know, to let people know what type of person he was. Now he's going to change his mind and like, I was never a racist to begin with. I was never that type of person. <laughs> You've got me all wrong. <laughs> Stop talking about Joe. Joe didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. You never did nothing wrong. You stick to that. You stick to that. You stick to that garbage. Um, I'm looking for it. I don't see it. That one. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So here it is. So this is basically what I had. What's up, Mr. Square Peg? Watch me on Twitch. All my Twitch folks. What's up? You know, I need more Twitch people. You know, I need more Twitch people to watch me on Twitch. I know I've been abusing y'all, and I'm sorry. But that's going to end soon. I will be doing exclusive Twitch streams soon. So, so, uh, so uh, you all uh, be prepared. But here is the video that I made. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be quiet, and you all can watch this video. It's very funny. It's very hilarious. You all will enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to shut up and let this play. No. This is One Gun Shun, and this is your daily 3D break. Sketchfab under pressure from Autodesk, and Adobe Mixamo shut the door on another Pirate Joe scam. Private Joe was taking Mixmo animations and Autodesk avatars and redistributing them with no license. In the case of both companies, it was against their terms of service and now one of the two companies is seeking legal action against Truebone's owner, Joe McPeak. Autodesk on a phone call said, the owner of Truebone's will hear from us soon. Reaching out to Sketchfab, 
It appears that they were waiting to hear back from Autodesk about the Autodesk character avatars to see if Joe McPeak owned the rights to the figures he was giving away on their site. Seth Sketchfab got their answer and True Bones got the boot from the portfolio site. Joe McPeak also was shut down by Mixamo the day before the day before Sketchfab. It was found out that Joe was changing the namespaces on the motions and avatars of Mixamo and changing them to Makeamo. Joe may be getting ready to start a whole new piracy operation with his new imprint, Mocap Z. No information at this time is known about the new Facebook page that appeared after the Sketchfab incident. At this point, with possible legal action coming against him, he may be trying to reincarnate himself into yet another pirate con man operation. And this is One Gun Shun with the Daily 3D Break. And there's the T-Rex that I bought off Tur Turbo Squid. So I fucking bought that model, you asshole. Two hours later. Okay, everybody. I got the T-Rex from TF3DM. I downloaded it, okay? Okay, so we can go all day with this. <laughs> we, can, we can really honestly go all day with how, how much this man lies and realize. You know, it, 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 usually you call it retraction, but it's called relay. I mean, <laughs> I know it's a new term, but we're going to use it for Joe, the lie and relay, man. You know, just like just like when I called him the man child about two years ago, and it's kind of like stuck with him. But, um, yeah, so he tried to hide this, and this everything up here is exactly what was said over there in that video you know so i just took everything i just took everything put it up here then <laughs> then what happened is is that um um i think i took the video down i took the video down but joe said one good new i took the video down and retooled it it made it longer because it was just a short video at first all right it was a short video with just that with just that one part then I went back and added the other two parts, which was Joe saying that he downloaded a dinosaur, and the other one was basically something else. So, so Joe comes in here and says, Jeanette, why is there no video for the link? Are you going to let these slender trolls take over your form with this garbage? And then I come in and go, once again, thank you, Joe McPeak. <laughs> thank you, Joe McPeak slash Peak Levels. Here's the new link. See, Joe's coming in here as Peak Levels, pretending he was not Joe McPeak. All right, and that's what he does. He goes and embeds himself under different multiple names inside of a forum board. So one name he would use to insult people, the other one he would use to hide until they ban him, and then he'll resurface as the other person and continue his slandering, his trolling, and all that other stuff. And then once they get rid of that one, he will also so he got like he may have like eight, nine, ten different names on one forum board, you know. And uh, he does use some type of VPN device, uh, um, server service to hide his IP. And I think that um, I think what they should do is like if you're hiding your IP, you get banned automatically. If you find out you're hiding your IP, you get banned. You know that, that's that's the way they should do it on these form boards. That's the way. That's the way. If I had a form board, that's the way I do it. So if you find out you're hiding your IP, and uh, we find out about it, when you, and you come on this board as different people, we're just going to ban you. That's it. We're going to just ban you. And then um, the next time you show up, we're going to ban that person, ban that person, ban it. I mean, we just keep, if we find it, you, you're just going to get banned. You know? So, <laughs> and then uh, what I did is, and then I put the Pirate Joe new video link. So I put the link up there because, yeah, the link was the fuck. I took the video down and retooled the video, made it better. Um, so then Joe goes, uh, at peak levels, remove this crap before I sue. So he calls up his girlfriend, Sue, and tells the, his girlfriend, Sue, to attack, uh, to attack, uh, Mixamo. And then I said, what's the name of your lawyer? And everybody, everybody, not only, not only is this the video about Joe trying, Joe taking down a thread and trying to hide certain facts but this also shows how incredibly insane and nasty this idiot can be when he's after something. And that was to take this down. He really wants to get rid of this. And also, everybody, let me tell you one more other thing. This forum post is the birth of Todd Fox. Todd Fox was never, ever heard until Joe said it right here. So Joe birthed Todd Fox. Joe created Todd Fox. 
Yes, sir. This is the origin. If this is a comic book. This would be like the the issue of Spider Man by uh, Steve Ditko. Uh, by Steve Ditko, I forgot the guy who drew it, but it was basically the first appearance of Venom when that suit actually tried to kill somebody. But it wasn't until Todd McFarlane actually drew Venom, you know, had actually created Venom. But Venom was already in the comic book as the black suit. This is Joe's version of Venom. <laughs> well, actually, Joe would be, have to be Black Tom Cassidy. But this is Venom. I mean, this is the creation of Todd Fox. So here we go, everybody. So. It says, uh, so when Joe says, I said, what's the name of your lawyer then? And Joe says, Todd Fox. So this is the first introduction of Todd Fox, everybody. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what's up, Todd? Yes. <laughs> this is when Todd Fox was invented. Nobody heard of Todd Fox until I had. Until I had. <laughs> Save this and everybody. Now, Todd Fox, I'm thinking Todd Fox may be somebody in the bureaus in the, in the 3d bureau or uh, somebody who watched the 3d bureaus or whatever because I, I never said nothing about todd fox until i went up to a bureau and read this off so it's like it says peak level says todd fox do you think i'm playing with you <laughs> don't play with me one gun oh hold on, i forgot y'all sorry i gotta do joe's voice <clears throat> todd fox do you think i'm playing with you don't play with me one gun i'm effing being serious Jeanette Matthews doesn't work here no more. They are going to remove this sooner or later. Now's your chance to make good on your promise. Do the right thing and remove it now so that it looks good on when you go to court. Dude, this was like, how long ago was this? This was like in 2017, Joe. When am I going to go to court and meet Todd Fox? <laughs> it's your birthday, Todd. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so Joe's been saying the suit thing and I'm gonna take you to court and blah 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 for the longest folks all right all right so here we go again with some more garbage from Joe so I come back to Joe and I say <clears throat> okay let me get this get this right you stole from them and you also stole from Autodesk uh hold on hold on is, is this the right one hold on hold on hold on I think I think I may have uploaded this in the not in the Saturday at twelve at uh, twenty one oh three. This is Saturday at twenty one thirteen. There might be one missing, Pete folks. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh let me think. Uh, the mix is going to be happy with you. Download mixable turrets. Uh, let's see. Yesterday. Okay. Let, let's just let's just go back. So we'll read it. We'll. I mean, if I am out, I mean, I think this is the next one. Uh, okay, let me get this right. You stole from them, and you also stole from Autodesk. Bragged about it, got caught red-handed. Then you harassed and stalked me and the woman I was working with who crit on me because of you. I also lost my neck fix deal because I, this time I was lying, folks. I just, I mean, well, and the lie worked because Joe stopped messing with me after that for a little while until Joe figured out, like, oh, he didn't stop working on his Netflix deal, and she's still doing the voice. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it worked for a whole good four months until you finally caught on. Uh, deal, oh, next for deal because you because of you and your harassment of the woman you may quit, and you have the gall to talk about suing someone. Who is your lawyer, Joe? Second time I asked you already, and no rep Oh, this was before what I just read. Okay, okay, this is wrong. And, and with no reply, when you tell someone. <laughs> When you tell someone, do what I say or I'll sue you, expect to be laughed at. I have nothing because of you. I will spend every waking moment of my life exposing your thievery and piracy to everyone. You are a joke, a grown 50-year-old man of a joke. Your mind is that of a 12-year-old spoiled little brat. The games you play on the forum boards are shallow and can be seen by other 12-year-olds as amateurish. <laughs> And, and, and as stupid as you look, <laughs> your revenge on me has done nothing but made you look, look like the little troll who could. I am so glad you boast about how you stalked a woman into quitting my project. I am glad you feel so better about yourself, Joe. But with happiness comes pain. That pain will come in the form of you going to jail for stealing stuff that don't belong to you. Be happy, troll you won, but you will never steal again. <laughs> and then, uh, 
Then I asked y'all, said, what's the name of his practice? I can call the Bar Association of Michigan and find out more about him and the law he practices. No, I am not moving the post and sue, please sue for the truth. You were caught you were caught selling stuff twice and did and it did that did not belong to you. I mean, you gonna sue Mixable because I ratted you out on Sketchfab? <laughs> oh, it gets better, folks. Okay, here goes Joe. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, uh, okay, when gun, you've been warned. There's nothing I can do to help you, to help you. Uh, okay. Okay, when gun, you've been warned. There's nothing I can do to help you. May God have mercy on your soul. Funny, I was gonna say that to you. Get a life, con man. Uh, get a real copy of Motion Builder, one that you use commercially, not a student version. And oh, one more thing, stop downloading legal torrents. I have videos of you downloading Mixamo torrents. That's stealing. Don't make me post these videos of you stealing. This is your last chance, and I am being nice to you, Wungoon. Are you done, or do you want to fight about it publicly some more? So, we did. I said, fine, we can fight about this, and we did. He's the one who got the thing removed. I mean, I want to keep this going. <laughs> I mean, this is just me and him going for beta. This is me actually interacting with him and shutting him down. And he couldn't take it. So he went and got the got it removed. Went to Mixable, called him, saying that somebody was harassing him and they're and they've weaponized your form boards against him. I mean, just the same bull crap he always does when he wants to remove something embarrassing or something that makes people understand that he's a crook because I had nothing but links up here showing people that he was a crook. He's a crook. That's all I told you. He's a crook. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so one more thing. So he says in here that uh, get a real, I did have a real copy of Motion Builder because at this time, I was still in school. <laughs> <laughs> and when I left school, I actually have a license to actually use it commercially, Joe. Notice when I use Motion Builder, when the screen pops up, it doesn't say that no more. Notice it doesn't say that. Notice I have an account where I can download Motion Builder all day <laughs> and use it for whatever. You don't. <laughs> and I've showed you all many a times of me going to my account on on uh, on uh, Autodesk and showing you all. Yeah, see, I got this, 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 this. Joe, does, Joe never showed nothing like that. Joe never showed his account. Joe will never show an account because he doesn't have one. He's not supposed to have one because he's never paid for Motion Builder a day in his life. But let's continue. So he goes in and one, and one you use commercially, not a student version. Well, Joe, same thing to say about you. Why come you keep on using a student version of Motion Builder for commercial use? I, you don't have to answer me. Ask, uh, answer Motion. I mean, answer uh, Autodesk when they come for you. Don't answer me. You ain't got to answer me. Because the person's going to get the answer is Autodesk when they come for you. So... Here's one more thing. Uh, stop doing illegal turns. I have to, well, see, Joe. The thing about it is, I have an account with Adobe, and when you saw me downloading the content from Adobe, it's because I had an Adobe account downloading stuff from them. Every video I do, people see me logging into Adobe, downloading my stuff in Mixamo, and using it in my films. So once again, Joe. You know that's a lie. They know it's a lie. Let's go on, folks. So I come back and say, okay, that's all you got, right? So you have a problem with me legally using licensed software and using my Mixamo account to legally download from to legally download from their site. I have a Mixamo account. I have been with them back when I had to buy animations from them. Unlike you, Joe, slash peak levels, I don't have to steal from them. How can you come in here and spout this garbage while you steal their stuff? You need to get rid of your pro pack animations from TrueBose.com because they're filled with their product. Joe, only if <laughs> Joe only <laughs> Joe if only knew the hole. If you only knew the hole you are digging for yourself, you would leave this company and their products alone. You are ruining for everyone who uses this site to get free motions and avatars for their projects. I stopped you on Sketchfab and I will stop you now. You destroyed my project by stalking a woman who had nothing to do with you. So now I have all the free time in the world to it says something to stop your rotten piracy for good. <laughs> so uh 
So here he goes. So he sends them a link. So he goes, I don't think Adobe Mixmo is going to be happy with you downloading Mixmo Torch. So here's the thing. I did a video. And he showed a video of me downloading from my account on Mixmo. And said I was downloading Mixmo Torrents. You get what I'm saying, folks? And he didn't show the whole video. He, sh he like, cut the video up and only showed them. He only saw, they, they saw, like, the downloads of the Mixmo things on, on my, uh, on my bottom bar down there. Joe didn't show him that I actually went to Mixmo download. He just said, look, you th look at all the torrents of Mixmo. And I'm like, do you know they could always look for my account and see if I have a Mixmo account to download those? I mean, it, it's, it's just a sleight of hand that Joe likes to do. Uh, Joe stalked this, uh, this female artist who's a singer, R&B star. She, she done some Netflix movies and stuff like that. And she, uh, came on to my project because I was basically the only animator she know, knew. And, uh, her name was Genesis Omega. And what Joe did, Joe started stalking her. Joe looked her up and, and, and went on her page, started calling her tranny and started, uh, a whole bunch of crap and started lying about the woman. And, uh. When I showed her the thing about Joe being arrested stalker, you know, uh, she, she got she got kind of scared. And I was like, don't worry about it. I mean, he's he he's just a frail little man living with in his in his mom's garage. I mean, don't don't worry about it. And basically, this was before I found out Joe was in his mom's garage. Cause I always thought he was in his mom's basement, but I was proved wrong and found out through one of Joe's friends who actually know Joe, who actually lived with Joe. They actually told me. And he sent me a nice long letter. I thought it was Joe himself. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was Joe himself doing this, but it wasn't. I mean, uh, I thought it was Joe sending me the email to get me off track, but it wasn't. It was actually somebody because it was just that when we, this letter came before me and my associate did a deep dive on Joe. And we did a deep dive on Joe. We actually found out where he lived at, where his mom is, what his mom owns, and how many uh, how many uh, companies are ran out of the 69 Oxbow White Lake address. And we also found some other stuff. You know, I can't say it because it's uh, basically... It's basically stuff that has never been published or whatever about Joe. But I can't read that stuff up. But the stuff I can read is basically uh, Joe's public police arrest arrest record. I can read a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, I could be reading that stuff the same way Joe tried to put my father's arrest record out there. But I said, no, no, I'm going to wait for him to really, really, really get on my nerves for that. And that's and he hasn't got on my nerves as much because I know, uh, you know I mean, the only thing Joe has really done to get on my nerves is take down my videos. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing. And I said, no, I know. I want to show people that I'm better than him, but not showing people this stuff because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, and and you shouldn't do that to people. If you got to fight with somebody, don't go outside the family. The fight's between that one person. But Joe decided he was gonna go for my dad. He even I went after my sisters. He even went on on my Facebook accounts and he went on my Facebook accounts and saw went on my family thing and started talking about my sisters and stuff. Now I don't have a picture of my mom. My mom has no picture on Facebook. I can guarantee you, my mom has never had a pair of pictures on Facebook, but Joe talked about her too. But anyway, let's talk, let's go even further. He's going to deny all this, of course, you know. So, <laughs> so Joe comes, so uh, so after Joe shows them that, you know, and I basically emailed and said, well, if you think I'm stealing from y'all, just check my account <laughs> and look at what he's pointing out. And they didn't bother me, but I will show you something that. Uh, I will show you something to end this if I can if I can find it I will show it to y'all. But here we go. It says, I'll go back to Joe. It says Joe, you are funny. You took screenshots of someone else's screen and started yelling torrent. Good job, good job, twelve year old. This trick will not get you anywhere. But that is not as much proof as as this video here. This is the video I sent to the FTC. <laughs> in return, they called me back two days later, and yes. You did is what was confirmed was wire fraud. They are also they are also is going to use my written testimony and statements as evidence in your case. They said they have contacted you, so this fact-based unedited video of your downfall, you crook. It says true bones wire wire fraud the FTC case. Uh, that's a link I put up there. Joe didn't want to see that. Nobody see that. That's why he take it down. It said this is why my actress left because she read this. Also check out. His, I think out his story of Joseph Earl McPeak, White Lake man accused of stalking waiter. <laughs> you can find the police report by calling this number, West Boone for the police. I made sure I, la I laid all that stuff out for them. So, um, 
So, Joe, I guess a whole police precinct are liars. And the officers who <laughs> officers who work there are liars also. Joe comes go Joe comes up and he says, Okay, Master of Distraction, you're talking about someone that might have happened something that might have happened five years or more ago. I ain't talking about what happened this year, twenty seventeen. Nice try, but bye bye. <laughs> Notice how he said this is a distraction. And then he goes in to say this is something that might have happened five or five or more years ago. Well, Joe, there's no such thing in this situation as might. It did happen. You did get arrested. <laughs> you did get arrested. <laughs> 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 Put this over. <laughs> so, dude, you got arrested. Uh, and then I said, and then uh, <laughs> he goes. Let's t once again. He go. He goes back for more distraction. <laughs> Let's talk about your recent illegal download of mixing with torrents. Don't worry, they're going to be removed. <laughs> they were going to be removed. We're going to remove your slander first things first. Uh, Tuesday and save it. Uh, for reference, before they arrest, uh, before you're arrested for stalking and misrepresenting as a male gender fraud. See you in Adobe slash Mixmo in court. This is my last correspondence. Okay, so here he is right here, and and this is, this is proof of his harassment. Uh, <laughs> he keeps on uh, now. The thing about, the thing about harassment is, when somebody keeps on saying that they're gonna sue you. Sue you, and Joe's been saying this for years now. He's gonna sue me, sue me, sue me, take me to court, sue me, sue me, sue me. Um, hey, Joe, you like my new video? I think. Oh, you got the video out. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go to that next. Everybody, finish this. Uh, uh, it's it. So Joe said he's gonna use this against me. Now I'm trying to figure out um, if this was, if this is supposed to be the precipice of me being arrested or locked up or anything happening to me legally why hasn't it happened joe i'll tell you why it's happened because joe doesn't have no everything joe has is basically me turning him in for something he done illegal and since there is no law against turning in people who do things illegal well i'd have no fear from joe because joe wants to put people in jail because they've told on him and said hey this guy's over here doing something illegal so joe thinks he's going to take somebody to court and sit in front of a judge and say yes your honor this guy reported me in for doing something illegal and the judge is going to slap me in jail for the rest of my life that's the way he thinks folks that's the thinking of a privileged jackass oh hold up <laughs> uh we'll, we'll get this uh, is he on Oh, he's on. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> uh, I said, PSD, now is it's not just the river in Egypt. <laughs> uh, then I come back and say, uh, once again, Joe, I can download uh, Mixamo. Oh, no, let me move this out the way so I can see it. Okay. Once again, Joe, I can download Mixamo animations for free because I am a registered member of Adobe. I can. What's his name? He's running scared. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about this. And, and I, I was always wanting to read this, folks. And uh, and uh, the thing about it is I never got around to it because I had to wait to weaken the troll so, so, so everybody would understand. I had to get enough information about this troll so people could understand what type of troll he is. Now, everybody, you know, it's been... Uh, what going into almost two years now? Everybody know who's he, who he is, and what he does. So anything he says now, you know, doesn't matter. <laughs> as he hides over there, or the, as he hides over there, or the, or or on uh, Adobe waiting for me to post again. <laughs> he I mean he's actually, folks, he's actually hiding over there on Adobe under a different alt, waiting for me to post so he can remove my post and me from the form board. He does it. That's why he does it every time. He does it every time. But that's okay. I will, I have see I have legal representation, and they're they are going to uh, our next thing after the DMC takedown request is to go back to Unity and everything and get me reinstated back there because uh, we're going to figure out what's what what why they removed me how they removed me what was the reason now once again being on anybody's forum board is a privilege you know if they want to kick you off they can and they can also keep you off but we're going to see if we can talk to them 
<laughs> no fair use laws. See, yeah, fair use laws don't work for us when it's Joe taking down our stuff for no reason. But when it's us taking down something of Joe's, which is slanderous, racist, or just him just flat out stealing our content and re-upping it, you know, we have no more rights to it because Joe stole it. This is his. So here we go, everybody. Uh, once again, Joe, I could download Mixamo animations for free because I am a registered member of Adobe. I can use Autodesk software because I am registered with Autodesk. I have no business like you in which you steal and resell their products. Just like Ikenema as you keep selling unregistered copies of web anime to unsuspecting people. I don't take and sell other people's IP, data, or software and hide behind the lame, lame excuse you can't copyright motions or cartoons. If you're talking, if you're, if you are taking someone else's data without permission and selling it, you are in violation of the law. When they take you to court and you use that excuse, don't be surprised when your new home is a sale. Like I said, you are trying to create a false slash, a false equivalent slash narrative between you and me. I respect other people's right and obey their rules in terms of service. You just steal and then blame them for you stealing. You are you are a, you are phony lying charlatan who stalks women. Your past show that that and you can't hide it anymore. Okay, oh, oh my bad. Your past shows this and you can't hide it anymore. You are a crook dash con dash man. And I go and read to Joe. No, Joe, denial is the condition you suffer from as you justify your thievery of Mixamo animation and avatars and have the goal to come in here and spread your poison, you rotten pirate crook. I am also talking about something you are currently doing and that is stealing from Adobe, you crook. So let's look at this, everybody. So Joe said today that he's not a thief. He's not a crook. He's never stole nothing. All right. That's what he just said. All right. He said it this morning. He said a couple days ago. And he's probably saying it now while he's live streaming. But if we just go over here to True Bones. True Bones Gumroad store. And we just scroll down a little bit let's just scroll let's see what else was let's see what stuff he has on here that he's trying to off to unsuspecting people well we're gonna we, we already know what's evident what he has up here already but let's just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and what do we have here let's see free characters from mixamo in i avatar format for iclo now joe joe you said that you don't steal, but you downloaded their whole library of avatars and you have them sitting up here. And their terms of service says that you cannot resell or distribute the DNA of their files. Well, if you download any, that, that, that's meaning anything you download from that internet, from their site, which contains Mixamo assets within it, whether it's free or not free, you're not supposed to resell it to a third party. He thinks he's an expert on fair use laws now. Sadly, but yeah, he is. He is. He, he's an expert of, of giving me more ammo. <laughs> like he did the other day. Thank you, Joe. Section G. <laughs> let's see who be, let's see who uses it correctly, Joe. Me or you? <laughs> but Joe, if you can explain why you are selling Adobe content without a license. If you can show me a license from Adobe that says, okay, Joe, you can sell this or some type of written agreement or something, I doubt if you find it. I really do doubt if you find it because <laughs> I really do doubt if you uh, mm, 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 are a registered uh, license <laughs> person from Adobe. With uh, And I don't get it. Why would Adobe sit back and put this stuff out here for free and you put it up here for two bucks? I don't get it. Why would somebody come to you and pay you two dollars for this pirated garbage? When all they have to do is just sign up for Adobe and get everything you have on your site for free. That's why, people. That's why. That's why I made the video with the people dancing with the links to all this crap that Joe have up here. That's why. 
I did that so they will not have to come over here and give Joe their emails or any information or click on anything to help him make any money because he does not deserve to make a dime off of anything on his page. Everything on his page he does not own. So he can go and cry and say he's going to sue me. I mean, he can do it. But here's the whole thing about Joe trying to sue me for anything. Joe has to prove that he owns this stuff. If Joe is suing me because I'm talking about his business selling stolen stuff and I've turned him in for doing it and he got busted and punished for it, how is he going to take me to court and say, I want him put in jail because he told on me? If Joe can point that law out, well, then I would be shaking in me booties. <laughs> but here is Joe, obviously selling something on his webpage without permission and against the terms of service and against their copyright and IP. He is selling the DNA of their product on his site. And Mr. Copyright over there saying, who, you, when again going to get in trouble because he took my video down? Joe, the people who took your videos down were the people who owned the content. The only thing I did was made them aware that you stole their content and was selling it. How is that going to put me in jail, Joe? How? How? <laughs> he won't sue you. No, Joe's over there explaining how he can't sue me for nonsense. See, we don't have a law that says you can sue someone for nonsense. That's the problem with Joe. See, Joe is still looking for a, a court case where you can sue somebody over nonsense. Not the fact that I'm making the nonsense, but the person who's trying to bring the other person to court is the nonsense. <laughs> so he huffs and he puffs and he cries his little heart to bed at night saying, I'm going to get one gun, I'm going to find out. But one gun can get Joe because Joe used the, 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 the uh, federal law to take down my content, which is a felony because it's unlawful to use any type of law to acquire something illegal. Illegal was the censoring of my channel. Illegally, because it's, it's like this. He went to censor my channel, point blank. He didn't want my stuff. He didn't want my videos talking about him, but I had every right to talk about him because of free speech. So what Joe did is, by trying to go to my channel and censor it, what he was doing is depriving me of my right to free speech. So that's something else Joe is in trouble for. Joe has many things he's going to be in trouble for. And he thinks, he thinks I'm going to be like him and say, Sue, 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 Sue. No, I'm just going to say, Joe, tick tock, tick tock. You know, he can keep on, he, I mean, he can keep on lying and doing whatever, but let's get back to the story, folks. <laughs> So, um, so let's go to the next page here. Okay, so that was the end, folks. That was the end of that. But you see, um, this is nicely stacked away in some place that Joe has been trying to. Joe has been trying to, like, Joe. See, what Joe don't understand is, what Joe don't understand about um, this group is I made this group specifically for people I know. All right? The people I know. No, only come here. People I know who are identities I can confirm. <laughs> so Joe tries to come in here as different people. So let me see. So Jet Strange, me and Jet Strange are the all the what's name. So these are everybody I know. These are all the people I know. So knowing Joe, he's <laughs> Knowing Joe, he's he's Joe's up to something. I mean, he's he's over there. He probably he's probably angry because I read that. I mean, y'all see how demented he was in the whole thing. And uh, then Joe went back and 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 and, and since Joe wasn't winning the fight, and as you can see that was a straight fight that I won, a verbal fight. And that's why I keep on saying every time you verbally destroy Joe, Joe gets you back by trying to erase the fact that he got destroyed. And I did destroy him. I did destroy him. Everything I said was the actual truth, and I had the facts to back it up. What Joe had was hocus pocus lies, and believe it or not, <laughs> I'm walking on air. <laughs> you know, it's just, just, just nothing. It was nothing, and, and 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 I destroyed him, and he couldn't take it. So he had to remove the thread and the other thread. Once I find the video with me going through the whole thread, because I did the video year about a year or so ago. 
about the other thread before they took that one down. And Joe had those threads removed because he doesn't want nobody to know the truth that he's a con man. I have proven without the shadow of a doubt, Joe, you are a con man. I have proven it. And you still have yet to this day to prove, to prove any content of mine has been sold or was from anybody else. So you think about this, Joe, how can I be a pirate when I don't take other people's stuff and sell it? You see, I'm not like you, Joe, and you're trying to say that I am like you, but I'm not. I've never been like you. I use my talents and what God gave me to get by. You use lies, use lies, thievery, <laughs> uh, manipulation, anything you can to protect yourself like you did over there at Gumroad. You went up the Gumroad, lied to those folks, and they shielded you like a newborn baby. But as soon as the truth came out and all those DMC orders were from them, Joe got treated like a red-headed stepchild. <laughs> and he did. He got treated like a red-headed stepchild. Ain't he? <laughs> Shaheel doesn't even talk to Joe no more. He doesn't. He doesn't. He leaves that to his lackeys down there in support. And everybody, if you dealt with gun roll support, you know he's a bunch of lackeys. <laughs> They're like humanoid manatees, you know. <laughs> People say straight up idiots over there. And they don't even, they, I mean, what, and what they do now when Joe sends them a message, Joe, they send Joe an automatic, an automatic message back every time, every time. And it's funny. It's funny watching Joe just get flustered over the fact that he can't talk to his favorite boy. She'll, she'll cut his ass off. He's like, you lied to me. You lied to me, Joe. <laughs> you broke my heart. <laughs> get out of my life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the True Bones clip. So let's go and visit. Let's go and visit Pirate Joe, shall we? Is he playing this? Is, is he like playing this goon music now? Nah, he's off. He he he's not alive no more. Let's see. Uh, what did he just do? Huh? I guess he must have hit it. Oh, right, here we go. Check check check. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um. <laughs> See, and, and this is basically what's going to get this idiot in trouble <laughs> fair use all right yo my videos were marked as fair use a long time ago oh he's over there discussing what we're discussing over here <laughs> this is going to be good <laughs> oh you cut you recut the video okay so let's go over that's fine that's fine mr todd fox let's say let's go to his channel Let's go to Chai. Let's go to Todd's. <laughs> and we're going to do a premiere. A premiere on my channel. Now, Todd, you know this video ain't going to be monetized now because I know your video. And your video tends to have music in it that it shouldn't. But, <laughs> um, and, uh, I don't care. So, yes, I did watch one of the very. Oh, okay. Hey, you, you folks over here watching this video. <laughs> You're not supposed to be premiering it. So this is a very very funny movie, folks. This is like this is like a work of art. Um, Todd Fox put together an interesting um, video about the McPeakster here. Uh, <laughs> it's not a so Joe can't threaten me. No, nah, yeah, that's right. Your video, your channel ain't monetized. So yeah, that's what Joe's gonna do. He's gonna try to go after it. But I'm gonna tell you exactly what Joe's going to do. Uh, Joe attacks people videos in three ways, right? The first way Joe's going to come at you is like, well, I see he hasn't watched your video yet. So, um, so you see there's no down film right here. But one of the ways Joe attacks your channel first is um, through uh, DMC takedown. Oh, actually harassment. He tries to say that this video is harassing him or whatever. And then once it comes back that that didn't work, he'll go to the next thing. He'll do privacy complaints. All right, he'll do private security, private security plates, and then if that don't work, he'll go to the next step, which is uh, which is uh, DMC takedown notice. So he will do a DMC takedown notice, and when that comes back saying it's fair use, then he will go 
for taking the whole channel down. And, and, and I know that this is what he did to me. So he will get his little uh, his little trigger bots, uh, bots he uses to uh, put in constant, constant complaints on your YouTube channel. And he will let those loose. And he will he will challenge your channel and say scams and fraud, scams and fraud, scams and fraud. And he'll probably say, uh, oh, this link right here is 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 a misleading link. Uh, it leads to this. It's a clickbait. You know, he'll he'll use that type of wording. And YouTube not. Oh, it's the first minute. <laughs> he wants to watch the first minute. So he's going to attack your channel. Actually, that's four different ways. Um, then once he's been defeated, once he's been defeated and he won't take your stuff down, then he will actually start making videos. <laughs> and he will come after you. I know this. This is how he works. Yeah. All right. So, y'all, yeah, we're going to no. watch the first few minutes of this. So you all grab your popcorn and uh, enjoy the flick. This is this is the, a masterpiece by Todd Fox. We might just play the whole thing. Here we go. When it comes to the law, nobody's opinion counts. They call it hearsay. So everything that one gun does over there, all those movies saying that I'm a thief or True Bones is defunct, that's all hearsay. That's all opinion. That's not even admissible in a court. So for him to think that we're, we would ever go to court about anything unless I sue him, I mean, I could sue him, but, you know, he's just a troll. So not really that important to me. Um, you could never catch me, fool. I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so I'm a crook. So what? to do with it. Teeth? Teeth? Hey everybody, it's Joe McPeak, aka True Bones, or Mr. Bones if you like. Check, check, check. Hey, everybody, it's Joe. Get ready for the show of the century. You know what else is funny? I noticed... I got one ear that's smaller than the other. I look like a mongoloid. Um, here's something else. Do you... Does this face look high to you? I don't smoke weed. I don't do any drugs, you stupid moron. go live to let everybody know that I quit smoking weed and I'm not going back when it comes to smoking weed I was like Cheech and Chong put together I used to love love the weed um, I used to be into edibles flour wax crumble um, I even did CBDs for a little while. Uh, CBDs is actually not bad. Go ahead, record it. It's a free country. Go ahead. They're, they're up there saying, oh, we're recording your video right now. 
Yeah, because I want you to see it, stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so I'm a crook. So what? Lie all you want. Nothing changes. You are a crook. So? Just stop stealing, you buffoon. What? What have I stolen? First tell me what have I stolen, and then I'll stop stealing it. Can talk and talk and talk until the cows come home moo but I don't care because I'm still here and I'm still selling my stuff and I'm even giving away some of the stuff for free and you can't stop me blah 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 epic can't stop me blah 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 <laughs> sketch fab can't stop me blah 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 so that's it Epic Games finally caught up with you, huh? Don't you mean Jamie Anderson, the fake lawyer? It's fake. It's a hoax. How many times do I got to say it, folks? This whole thing from start to finish was just a fake harassment. <laughs> <laughs> here is his video and I'm right at the point with this is the guy who who is stealing all the stuff that's him he's a no internet pirate and everybody knows this and uh, he's also a troll and stalker but here we go and this is Cheryl remember I taught y'all about Cheryl earlier from the other emails well this is Cheryl and Cheryl's like sorry about the delay it appears that our payout went through three days ago so I think you should be fine so they actually paying this clown for the stolen all that stolen content up there all that stolen content that they have up there on his True Bones page, uh, on his True Bones of Gumroad page, and the same content I took you through the Gumroad page looking for stuff, they're paying him for it. And then, here, right up, right after they paid him, they warned him and said, we also received a DMC takedown notice from the creators of Fortnite this past week, specifically targeting your account. It would be a good idea to delete and unpublish your Fortnite-related products in the near, very near future. People who ran into Cheryl, and found out the show had no sense like the other people they've ran into. Look at how they're protecting this guy. They're like patting him on the back after they paid him. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, we got some silly little message saying uh, um, <laughs> to take down your Fortnite stuff from the people who created Fortnite. We don't know who those guys are, but that, 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 that's, that, that's all right. You know, uh, 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 have fun. Enjoy your payment of all, this, of, of all the money you made off your stolen crap. Yeah. Yeah, that's Gumroad. That, that, that's, that's what they do, people. That's who they are. This is my poker face, stupid. You want to bet? You think I'm bluffing? Then bet me. Bet me that I'm bluffing, stupid. You lied to a multi-million dollar company about takedown notices being fake, and they believed you. <laughs> <laughs> and they went up and yeah, sued so? over you, Joe. Why was somebody taking a call, risk so? over you now, dude? Why? <laughs> What's it got to do with you? Absolutely nothing. So what if I lied to a multi-million dollar company? I did it, not you. What are you trying to take you credit for, for my lies? lies? Hold up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You must 
have to really search for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap <laughs> you mean to tell me I don't know where I was when he said this one <laughs> I've never seen this clip before in my life you mean to tell me he gonna sit back and take pride <laughs> he took oh hell no hold up y'all hold up I gotta hear this sh I gotta hear this stuff again <laughs> I gotta hear this again Hold up. I can't believe he just... <laughs> yes, I got it. He goes to sit back and he say he's proud. <laughs> he goes to sit back and say that he takes pride in getting somebody almost sued. <laughs> and he's trying to figure out why she Hill won't talk to him and why he keeps on getting automated messages from on the gum road. <laughs> oh, I got one place again, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> and they believed you. <laughs> they well, okay. Yes, yeah, so. And he laughed with me. He laughed with me, folks. <laughs> you joe why will somebody I hear your mama take a risk so? over you now dude why <laughs> what's it got to do with you absolutely nothing so what if i lied to a multi-million dollar company i did it not you thank you <laughs> thank you Thank you. But you know what, folks? Let's... <laughs> oh, you synced the two clips? Oh! So... <laughs> Bravo. Bravo, Mr. Fox. <laughs> hold on, hold on, y'all. Because I got, I got an idea here. Okay, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing with me. <laughs> I'm laughing at him, and I'm laughing at Gumroad, and he's laughing at... Who is he laughing at? <laughs> Who is he laughing? He can't, I know he ain't laughing at me. He must be laughing at Gumroad, because they were the idiots to listen to him. <laughs> Look at the smile on Joey's face. <laughs> Uh, Bet me that I'm bluffing. Stupid. Who wants to bet Joe was bluffing? <laughs> you lied to a multi-million dollar company. Oh no, I, I gotta go. I gotta, I'm gonna go back because I, I do want to do something. Bet me that I'm bluffing. Stupid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm gonna do. Copy URL at current time, and I'm gonna do this. Do this. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's Gumroad. All right, so I just I never showed y'all this. So I sent this letter to Gumroad. Uh, I'll read it one day. But <laughs> Gumroad comes back and says, "Did you give up on the emails? Because they th they still think after all this crap that has happened, they still think that me and Sally are sending them fake DMC notes." <laughs> This is after, after they took all this stuff down. This is after, after Shahil knocked the bed totally blind. This is after, all right? So, I tell them, I say, nope, I'm still emailing the companies he stole from and reporting your company and him for reselling their IP and trademark. I, and I said, I do, I say I don't do takedown requests. I report shady characters into the people who will. That would be the owners of the content. Talking to you people is like talking to a bowl of dying guppies. <laughs> so I sent them this. Uh, it's basically uh, <laughs> this right here is basically uh, uh, <laughs> this is basically uh, uh, epic putting the smack down on Cum Road. <laughs> okay, that's what this is. <laughs> 
Uh, but I'm not gonna say. But this picture was worth was worth contacting Epic and reporting the fraud that you and your company condones. Enjoy, and I told him later. But today. <laughs> <laughs> Listen <laughs> to your number. Where's my hashtag at? Hashtag one <laughs> creator. <laughs> Say how much pride he had. <laughs> Lying <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> that was funny. So he just said, he j I mean, oh my gosh, paste <laughs> sin. So I'm going to just copy all this right here. Copy this again. And then we're going to go over here to this guy. <laughs> See, he hasn't blocked me, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> he hasn't blocked me. <laughs> but he blocked you. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I just said that. Okay, so I said that to him. Let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, look, it's Tim Tweedy. Hey, hey, Tim, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, Tim. Fortnite assets are safe. <laughs> of today <laughs> and going forward <laughs> all right <laughs> hey even Tim Sweeney listens to me every once in a while <laughs> he got Joe Block too <laughs> oh, I'm sorry folks we had to take a break for that but hey let's finish the rest of this all right <laughs> You lied to a multi-million dollar company about the takedown notices being fake, and they believed you. <laughs> <laughs> they went up and yeah, sued so? over you, Joe. Why would somebody take a risk so? over you now, dude? Why? <laughs> What's it got to do with you? Absolutely nothing. So what if I lied to a multi-million dollar company? I did it, not you. What are you trying to take credit for my lies? No, Joe, I'm making sure you take all the credit for your lies. <laughs> Every ounce dropped. There's nothing left. Bowl dry. You take everything. <laughs> all right, y'all, sorry. I'm just going to watch some more of this. Yeah, I'm sorry to bug in about right now, but yeah, he uh, uh, he's correct. You know, if you call State of Michigan looking for this True Bones Motion place, it, it doesn't exist. And that's how Joe does his slot of hands. He has True Bones Motions and then True Bones. You'll be, you, you'll be waiting every waking minute looking for True Bones. 
Uh, but now since I do have the official name, True Bones, then I will just go back and report that name in too. I'm like, oh yeah, he has another company. One, the fake one called True Bones Motions, and then they're just True Bones. And if you look at it, <clears throat> he operated for 20 years. And uh, right here, this says 2016. And now uh, it says 20, uh, he renewed it in uh, 07 to 2017. So it ended here, but he got it renewed. A whole year later so he was operating without a license during the time that he was stalking and harassing me hmm okay so Joe uh, oh actually uh, the date here proves that when Joe sold me those motions he was not officially a company because Joe sold me those motions in 2015 so due to fact there is no more spaces here that say that Joe was the so-called quote-unquote company and one thing else people this is a vendor's license all right this is basically a vendor's license. This is not a license to operate a full-fledged company in the state of Michigan. This right here is bullcrap. This is only good enough to open up a lemonade stand on a street corner. That's all this is. I've gotten these before when I was selling t-shirts. You get these, they last for, you can renew them every summer, whatever, you renew them. But the whole thing about it is these things does not permit you to sell to sell anything over state lines or on the internet without being properly taxed. I know Michigan has a law that taxes stuff on the internet. Exactly. It's a meaningless name registry. And that's all this is. It's a name registry. It's 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 not uh it's not an actual business license. This is not a business license, everybody. This is all this is is a name registry. Anybody can get these. It's called a fictitious name. In order, in order to get one, actually, in order to get a fictitious name, you have to at least have a uh, uh, what's it called, employer ID license to get one of these. Now I know I've had I've, I have my old son before. I know I know about this stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is like the dumbest thing that he can bring because this just proves that he was that uh, once I show them this and then say, okay, so you can see the registry is eleven. 17 2011 but he sold me that garbage in 2015 so unless he can come up with one of these for 2015 he's been selling stuff without paying taxes for that long and i do believe uh irs they go back what 15 years 10 15 years i believe and yeah they go back 10 to 15 years so if it shows a pattern of him not paying i mean we know he's not he can't be paying taxes we know it he's not registered I've proven time and time. I call at least once a year, and I'm about, I'm about to call in a few more months after the first year. Get here to see if he's registered. I've been calling since 20, uh, 2016 to see if his company is registered. Every year it says no. I get a return of no. <clears throat> so, so, let's get on with the story. Todd, where'd you get this from? I never seen this. Hold up. <laughs> Are you serious? Did he did he actually type this? Are you you said that he has that I have a several mocap studios in a perception neuron. So what you do, Joe, you take you take like several different pictures of your mom's garage and several different angles to confuse people into saying, Oh, this is my studio here and this is my studio here. This is my studio here <laughs> And then you said you have a perception neuron, but Joe, I thought you said iPod was better. What you doing with a perception neuron, Joe? <laughs> What do do? What what are you doing for perception neuron? Right? I thought I thought you said you didn't want one. And on top of that, um, your chances of actually winning one that that went kaput, didn't it? <clears throat> like like in your own words, he put the kibosh. <laughs> yeah, Joe, I put the kibosh on you uh, getting in there and trying to cheat your way through. You know, you work hard like I did doing the doing the real illusion contest. Yeah, I worked hard, and my hard and my working hard paid off because they gave me everything that I won they gave me all my stuff I won then all the other people who worked hard they got their rewards too so if you're going to sit back and downplay me because uh, I won something and I worked hard for it well then that's what you're supposed to do Joe I mean if that's just negative to you well that's just you but everybody else if you work hard and you achieve something and you win because you're hard <laughs> Joe forgets that the internet remembers <laughs> yes he does <laughs> but here's the thing dude <laughs> 
You lost the perception neuron contest, and you blamed it on me. Instead of well, well, it wasn't really my fault. I just basically got in touch with them, and me and Sub now is not me, but several other people got in contact with them and bought up this issue. And then after the several people, then another fourteen or fifteen more people got in contact with with uh, Notama and told them that people are cheating. <laughs> So when Joe called down there and they told him he was disqualified, no, no, Joe didn't say he was taking us about the contest. They said he was disqualified. <laughs> oh, boy, was he mad. <laughs> Joe, how much money did it cost you to buy all those bots to constantly go back there and and click your name to be the winner, Joe? Because Joe went and he, he bought a whole bunch of bots. We know Joe bought these bots. He spent money on this. Had those bots go to the website, click his name, and not just once, but hundreds of times. He went back twice. He used his bot service. And they, he pays them, uh, like, I mean, per, I, I don't know how much it is, but basically what somebody told me, like, Joe's using the bot service, and they went and, to that contest and started clicking his name. Every time they click his name, <laughs> Joe gets one vote. And in the process of uh, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. And Joe wasn't the only one. Okay, let me tell you. Joe wasn't the only one that was doing this. I also checked some other people's contest entries and just watched their stuff skyrocket. I was like, you know what? This is, uh, they're, they, these people too who are using bots. So it's a bunch of people got disqualified. And, and a lot of them got disqualified because, well, they were using bots. Um, and, and when they started using the bots, that's when they said they're no longer going to use the voting system because it's flawed. And it was. I told him that. I was like, anytime there's a voting system, because that's how Joe got caught with the iPod thing. Joe cheated in the iPod thing, too, because they used some stupid voting, some stupid voting shit. And, and, and if it's not secure, don't use it. You know? You'd be better off using phone votes. <laughs> Tell people to call in using a phone voting system or something. Better than using an online system because those things aren't fail safe. So iPod did it. Joe cheated. They found out Joe cheated, and then they they uh, they they found out Joe cheated um, through the fact that everything he did in the video he entered iPod was not done with iPod software, and the whole video wasn't even done by Joe. It was done by Oompa Gramps and Rubu. <laughs> it says in the credits. <laughs> so Joe comes after me, claiming I stole something or, or used something, and it falls flat. But then again, he lies and said he has a perception neuron. Joe ain't got no perception neuron. But Joe's also say, well, you know the guy's perception neuron. Because you don't. <laughs> if you had a perception neuron, well, then you would probably be doing more better crap than using that iPod. But, people, let's get on with the show. No, Todd. Nah, nah, dude. I don't believe he said that either. <laughs> That's something truly... <laughs> the $5 million international company. Wow. What a tycoon who lives in his mom's garage <laughs> selling stolen content. <laughs> I'm True Bones. <laughs> My name is Joseph M. McPeak. I own a mansion in a lot. <laughs> Lifestyles of the d deranged and incredibly moronic. Today's <laughs> today's person of interest is Joseph Earl McPeak as he walks around in his masked rape suit, <laughs> looking out the door because he thinks the cops are on to him with with his custom duct tape, <laughs> custom duct tape, and weather insulated. <laughs> Air conditioner <laughs> with his luxurious king size mattress with red comforter. <laughs> and let's not forget his also his wonderful kitchen net net net, which does not have a stove, but it does have a microwave for hot pockets, cold pizza, and the then the sometimes but rarely I uh, would you put this say delicacy. 
baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> As it sits on top of his luxurious mini fridge, <laughs> next to his blender where he can mix his organic shapes and shakes and, and whatever else he makes there, along with all the other anonymities of a tycoon should have since this is a five million bazillion dollar company and he makes so much money at it. Well done, Mr. McPeak, sir. Well done. He said he was the mask to prove to everybody that although he's a tycoon, he does like to of occasional like to stalk and rape. So here we go with the rest of the film. Yes, I can go on to Sketchfab, I can go on to Facebook, I can go on to YouTube, and I can go on to everywhere else that they say that the mysterious Joe McPeak cannot go. But you know what, folks? I'm here to tell you it's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie. Injured boy Woongoon is a farce. No, not because he's a transgender. Now, these are two other issues. He says that I called him a transgendered. No. I never called you a transgendered, ever. I said you might be. Anybody might or could be. There's no proof to tell just because somebody looks like they got junk or not. Just look at the Serena sisters. They're both men. So I'm showing people that I'm not a thief, that I'm just another user, and we have some accusers out there who really think that we steal this stuff. Now, you really can't steal free. Okay. Are you flipping, dude, are you serious? Dude, you mean to tell me? <laughs> You mean to tell me that he said all this crap while he was stealing the model? <laughs> and then while he was stealing the model, <laughs> it says right here, rules, do not redistribute, do not edit, do not copy, do not claim as own. Give credit or I will take it down and enjoy. <laughs> oh, come on, Todd, come on, man. <laughs> I, I may have heard something wrong. I may have heard something wrong. I'm going to play this again. This can't be real. <laughs> People that I'm not a thief, that I'm just another user, and we have some accusers out there who really think that we steal this stuff. Now, you really can't steal free now, can you? still free no you can't you, you take stuff when something is given to you as something free you're not supposed to give it out as your own content the next minute it's in your hand no no joe that's not the way it works what makes you think that free is free for you and only you to sell what makes i mean <laughs> what makes what makes the law differ from you what makes it effective i did what you're doing i will probably be sued or probably put away in a jail cell but you figured if you do it joe it's okay see your whole thing joe is you run around calling me the things that you're doing you're projecting yourself onto me so you can have somebody to fight that's why you do the things you do. That's what I believe. That's why you do the things you do. Because you need somebody to pro project on. Because you know what you're doing is wrong. And you want somebody to be wrong with you. You want somebody to equivalent yourself with. So that's why you come after me saying all the lifeful, nasty, racist crap that you do. But right here, Joe, this is you. This is you. Saying something and doing the exact opposite. You're, you've taken this model, Joe, and I've seen you use this model. I've seen it in your packs. 
You took this person's crap. As soon as I find out whose this stuff is, I'm going to make sure I tell them and name the pack so they can come after you and the videos that you have this crap in. You went to a community over there on DeviantArt. The community has been there for years. And you decide to go over there, download their stuff, package it up, and sell it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Joe. Yes, you did. You went to that community, stole the stuff that they used to make their stuff. Now, I don't have nothing against these folks over there, old DeviantArt, taking stuff and making their own art with it. That's art. They're not trying to sell nothing. They have no price tags on the stuff that they share between each other because these are a group of individuals who actually use their minds to create stuff. Nice stuff sometimes in some cases. And then you go over there and paratroop over there with a big old sack and start swooping the stuff up saying, Oh, it's free. It must mean free for me to sell. When I call you a crook, Joe, it's because you do stuff like this. You do stuff and you don't understand. Oh, I think you understand. Matter of fact, I'm confused. Because it doesn't matter if you understand or not. But it matters when you get caught and you get punished. That's what all that matters now. I'm to a point that I don't care if you don't understand if it's right or wrong. If you do it, I'm going to report you in. Period. Let the people you have to deal with because you stole their stuff deal with you. Whether it's theirs or not I just report you in that's all I've done that's all I've ever done and that's all I will continue doing as long as you want to put on charade as long as you want to act like a charlatan as long as she wants to be like this now what I'm doing is not against the law whatsoever but it's against crooks like you I haven't done nothing to you Joe but you've done a lot to me and I was like you know what I need to go a level up See, the only way I can, I, I can get this clown to understand and stop playing with me is to actually bring him into the real world by having real things happen to him, like people getting ready to sue him for stuff he's been selling. And until... See, Joe doesn't realize if he stops selling the stuff, he will stop getting the lawyer notices and stuff. He will stop, but he, he don't want to... As long as he doesn't understand that, but then I'm going to hit him left and right, hit him left and right. But making people understand that they're selling his stuff. See, there's no law against me turning him in for selling other people's stuff or reporting them in. Joe, point out the law where I can't turn you in for theft. If there is a law on the books, Joe, that says that I cannot turn you in for theft, please take me to court. Because that's what this is all about. Me reporting you in for stealing, you getting angry, and then using the DMC process, DMCA process, to take my content down, thus censoring, thus limiting my rights as a U.S. citizen as my first amendment for not expressing myself. I've never took away your first amendment to talk, Joe. I've only taken away your so-called privilege, white privilege, as of you can steal stuff and get away with it and t use the money to go and use it to terrorize and buy views for your channel. That's all you do. So now since I'm filling with that money, it's getting kind of hard for you to play your favorite song, Mickey Money, Mickey Money, Mickey Lick Lick Bunny, Mickey Bunny. Yeah, yeah, I played that song for the people over there at Epic. I played that, Mr. Shakur. But here we go. But these are fantastic. Wow, I'm amazed by that one. So I will be using some of these, just like everybody else does. Yeah, we're going to go over the Todd Fox, because he's impersonating a judge. Todd Fox is my brother, and my brother is a judge. And this little flake, go to channel. Well, we all know where Todd Fox came from. <laughs> Todd Fox was actually created by Joe. I'm, I BS you all not. That that thing I read you, that was the first time Joe has ever said who his so-called fake lawyer was. <laughs> and, and it manifested. <laughs> this little jerk thinks he's going to make bad videos about Joe and True Bones all the time impersonating a judge. <laughs>
Todd Fox thinks he's going to slander me by posting videos that are disgusting. So, anyways, let's get back to it. Quit being a Pollyanna pariah patsy, you stupid mofo. Now, I only say this because I love you. You're a pirate. You're a pirate, just like everybody else. Why? They made us the pirates, folks. There was too much money to be made. Um, so how would you know about those things about modeling when you don't model? Well, I don't have to model. Nobody else models either. No, you're wrong. What do you think? It, people modeled this stuff? It's fact. Dude, I know more about this than you. No, it's totally made up. Pure fiction. They use ZBrush, they steal it out of video games, they press a button, it turns into a PBR, and then bam, they export the morph. Wrong. And then they sell the morphs. Joe has no talent or portfolio. What does it matter to you, stupid? How do you know mine are stolen? See, you can't prove it. That's your problem. No way. We got you. All your models are stolen content. No, they're not. No, they're not. All of these models are stolen content. Not a chance. It's a made-up tale. It's an urban legend that never happened. Dude, quit protecting the pirates! I am not angry. I am not angry. I'm angry because you're stupid. And you're too stupid to see the truth. My God, folks, I'm just saying bamboozled is a good word to explain what's going on here. But he has a behavior pattern that has left society no choice but to put his body behind bars. You stupid one-gun elt. Sally Peck, go back to Singapore, you stupid cunt. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, I got to stop the stream. I said the C word. Damn it! All right, everybody. So what I'm going to tell you all to do is from this point on, you all need to come over to Todd Fox's channel and watch this yourself because this is um, this is what it is. This is the Todd Fox masterpiece. I think it may have been better than the other one. Uh, I love the other one a lot, but this one, this one kind of <laughs> this one is more defining of Joe's character versus the other one, which just basically just showed us that Joe is a pathetic racist. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the other one was yeah, the other one really got Joe on that one but this one very much well defines his uh character and uh and and it really goes into some things especially when joe says he didn't do it or he did do my favorite part of this whole film folks my favorite part of this whole film was the fact that he sat there and laughed at the fact that he almost got this company sued that he was proud that he lied to them I mean, this dude is proud that he, he lied to them. Plain and simple. <laughs> check, check, check. Hey, everybody. So he comes over here while I'm streaming. What is he talking about? Your video merely copies. You're trying to monetize. You're using fictional copyrighted material. You're less likely to call for free use. If your video merely copies, you're trying to monetize. You're using fictional copyright. Okay, well, my my uh my my uh videos, well, they don't don't meet the standards. <laughs> the ones he took down. And there he goes again. He's talking about epic. Oh, he's talking about how he's going to take down all my videos. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, boy. Update your media player. Joe, update your media player, please. Um, 
Only co only courts, not YouTube, can ultimately decide for use. So what that means right there, that Joe has to go to court, take my videos and anybody else's videos to court, and have the courts decide on whether it's fair use. But Joe will never do that because Joe's court is YouTube. And as long as Joe keeps going to YouTube for court, well, then he's going to get denied every time. So, Joe, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and take my videos to court and say some crazy stuff that will just basically just solidify the fact that everything I make is under fair use. <laughs> so, yo, so, Joe's been going through uh, Fair Use Act. Uh, Sue's. <laughs> Uh, copyright troll. Now this, I don't know why Joe showed me this because I actually read this. I was like, yeah, yeah, Joe is a copyright troll. I have 22 copyrights that he made that he had no right to make on my content that he took down and then made. I have the videos where he's like laughing about it, and I have the videos where he's actually taking the videos down without without going to YouTube and actually giving them some type of documentation saying this video can't be can't be for fair use because of this 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 and this. He's never done it. And it says by law he's supposed to do it. 22 videos he took down. And I have I have video of most of them say, of saying why he was taking them down. Why he was putting them for scams and fraud. Why he was taking them. I mean, and it goes on and on and on. And he wants to sit back and pull out this farce. That's good for you, Joe. Go ahead. Farce it up, my friend. But it's not going to save you. Notice the fact that he doesn't read my emails no more because he found out and and and, and I and I tried to predict his future. I said, Joe, um, anything in those emails that can help you or save your Fortnite content on on uh, Gumroad, please use it. Please use it to keep it on your uh, keep it on your uh, 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 Gumroad page. You know, good luck. Soon, Joe realized that he couldn't use it because. It actually proves a point. The emails Joe showed them actually proves a point. It proves that me and my associate Sally were talking to Jamie Anderson of Epic Games. And not only that, we also had a phone conversation with a Jamie Anderson at Epic Games too. So all that proved was that we were telling the truth the whole time and Mr. McPeak was lying to them in their face and they soaked it up like a sponge. So if they're mad at anything, they shouldn't be mad at Joe. They should be mad at themselves for listening to Joe. So what next is Joe going to lie to them about? What is the next thing Joe is going to lie to them about when the next round of DMC takedown notices comes to him from people who own the content that he's selling on his website? What else is going to come? Because this is what I don't get. If you are committing fraud on Gumroad Joe, Joe, all Joe stuff should have been taken down and refund should have been in <laughs> yeah, the second half is good I'm not going to play the second half All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let people <laughs> Charles Jenkins enjoy <laughs> that's good worthy I have to go and watch the all new Ty Fox movie <laughs> yeah yeah buy tickets take your family <laughs> you know what Ty you should have took this. You should you know what you should. You should take all your videos and condense them into a to a uh, full movie, and then put it up on uh, on Amazon. Amazon to take it. You can put it up on Amazon and have and make all type of money. People watching. You know what? I might do that. I might just take all your movies, download them, and make them into a uh, Amazon movie, <laughs> and just give you all the money. <laughs> the second half is really good. The second half of this is really good. It really gets into Joe. Joe actually reads off. The 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 news article about him being arrested for stalking, and he goes crazy. I mean, he goes crazy. I mean, he goes to a place that he rarely grow goes, which is just total, total craze. <laughs> the dude is a loon, and this video and the and and his and Todd Fox's videos after that proves that he's a total loon. <laughs> you have to take what Joe does and make it into a comedy and it is it's comedy gold everything this dude does is comedy gold I wish I was as as <laughs> I mean I'm not the type of person <laughs> to make comedies I don't make comedies never written one but Ty Fox has a knack for making comedies I mean this dude is like it's like making 
art out of life. This is life, people. This guy thinks he's for real and acting this way in real life. You wouldn't think somebody would act like this or as grown as he is, act like that, but we have documented footage and proof that he acts like that. He thinks that he's so privileged that he can go around and flick a finger off to the law, and take people's content, resell it, redistribute it, then go back and use that money to harass and terrorize people. Well, I've kind of sort of kind of hurt the fact that he can't make that much money off of his stolen crap. <laughs> I know. I know. So, Todd, after this movie, I mean, due to the fact that uh, I, sh I don't know if you ever saw the, the stuff that I read earlier, on my 3D scammers page. I don't know if you ever saw this before. Oops. See everybody on this on this page. See, I don't I haven't let a new person in here in over two years. And ever since doing the two years, Joe has been trying to break into this place. <laughs> he has been trying to get in here. Um oh, <laughs> he has different alts. I mean he has so many alts that have tried to break into into this uh place and I have not let nobody in, in two years. So if you if I let you in, you in. All right. And uh, here are the videos. Now, I've taken down all the video. All these videos are from the 3D scammers. They're still live. You can still watch them. The only thing about it is is that uh, one thing about these videos are is that I, if I if I put them up, Joe will go to my channel and try to take the channel down. So I have to clean up the stuff, and I have never done it because I say it, it's fruitless. But uh, <laughs> but uh, Todd, I I think this can play the basis of your next movie. You get what I'm saying? I think all this stuff right here, and I can download it and email it to you. <laughs> I can actually give you this and show you how I own this dude. I owned him so bad. So bad in this farm board that he went back and had it taken down and then thought that he won. <laughs> that nobody would never see this. This is proof that he tries to hide the fact he's a crook and a thief. Your accusations are baseless. He's saying the stuff I said about him stealing stuff means nothing because all the, the whole thread is gone. But no, Joe, it's not. And I have proof that you sent this to me. Proof. You can't hide the truth no more, my brother. You thought this would be buried. Nobody would never see it. But yes, Joe, I've had this for months. And I was just waiting for the right time, dude. I say, you know what? I'm not going to talk about this until I take his channel down. His original channel. The one that gave me so much trouble because he would use that channel. And his ranking. See, it's all, and YouTube is all about the ranking. He used his ranking to take my videos and channels down. He doesn't have that ranking no more. Matter of fact, I rank higher than him. And if I was to do to him what he did to me, I would be wrong. You get it? I would be so wrong. And I wouldn't have no reason to actually make these videos about why about him using something to 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 harass people with, I would be just like him. But I I choose not to go around. And people say, "Why don't you take his channel?" I was like, "Nope, I'm gonna get his channel taken down." To oh, <laughs> and yet in my new video, he says everything you <laughs> was the truth from God Himself. Yeah, he did say that. Joe, he, Joe did say that. Uh, he, we, he, yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta watch the second half because that second half really showed Joe in, in a whole new element. <laughs> it really does. Uh, uh, and Todd, while Todd was making this, he been giving me um, peaks and stuff of it, and it it was great when I watched it. The only part I didn't see was the last part, and uh, I want to say that part for you all to go over there to his channel and watch it, like and subscribe his channel also. You know, go to Todd Fox, like and subscribe to Todd Fox. It's T O D D F O X. You know, or if you really want to find Todd Fox's, uh, if you really want to find Todd Fox. Hold up, y'all! I gotta do something because I, I, I know, I know, baby Huey over there. <laughs> uh, I know, baby Huey over there already marked my video for monetization. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, I got, I love when people watch this. But lately, you guys have really been watching my stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I look at, I look at this, and I look at my. Well, one of these videos, I think he got me. One. I'm just gonna take this video and re-up it, take it down, and take out whatever. I think I think I said the p word a couple of times, and that's the orn. It rhymes with corn word, <laughs> and I said that. And you know, I don't think he's supposed to say that word. <laughs> I said it, I said it, and I actually had show a couple of links or whatever, but uh, they just all they did was uh, 
I didn't show them links, but I just showed them uh, basically what Joe did. Joe no longer has that video up, but you know, I left, I left that. Yeah. So yeah, so I gotta go back and edit this video. Once I do, I'll put it back up. Um, yeah. So he came over here. Well, I knew he was gonna do it. I mean, he hasn't done it the last couple of days. I thought he'd be on his best behavior, but I guess, I guess today he's he's not gonna be his best behavior. He's just gonna be be a turd. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be a straight turd. I mean, I mean, dude. I mean, I mean, why be angry? Why, why, why be angry because you've been caught? I mean, dude. I mean, what's the what's the what's the problem? But yeah, um, as for Todd Fox, if you really want to find Todd Fox, just come over here and just type in True Bones. And the first video you should see, because it's ranking more, I mean, these are the videos Joe published. So every time you see True Bones, you'll see the latest videos from True Bones. Now, this doesn't mean that Joe's videos are ranking at high. That just means these are his latest videos, so latest True Bones. Here are the videos that are ranking higher than anything Joe has out right now. <laughs> oh, he's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know they're going to demonetize this video. I mean, I'm just going to take it down and, and re-edit it, you know. I mean, I know, I know they're going to demonetize it. I'm going to fix it. I ain't going to worry about it. Um, I'm always I'm always fixing videos and rebuffing them. That's only if I feel like I have the time to do it. But I think this video will get re up faster than other ones I got on my um, thing to do list for YouTube. But here we go, folks. So as you can see, this video right here used to rank higher than this video right here. This video will always follow in mind. But somehow Todd Fox has managed to get his video to outrank the video that actually took. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, Todd. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go back. I mean, I, I mean, I don't really care about the video. I don't care about this video because I'll make another video and it'll do just as good. Uh, the thing about it is, like, some of the videos, like, I got a bunch of videos that I have to take down, re-edit, and post back up. You know, so that's this, this is gonna be a list of new stuff. So, um, but as you can see, Todd Fox's video is ranking higher than mine because I guess you all are watching his video more than you're watching mine. <laughs> and he may, I may, he may have less views than me. <laughs> he may have less views than me, but it's the fact that you all are watching his whole video. <laughs> You're watching his whole video is why I dropped to second place. So because y'all are not watching my whole video down here, I can't rank above Todd. <laughs> People will watch my video. I'll tell you what the part. Everybody will watch my video. Right, if you manage show. a team, you have to try Monday.com. Monday.com is a platform to track everything your team. Everybody will come in. Here watch. are the links to the video. They'll watch my introduction. Uh, they'll watch my introduction, and then they'll come right here to where I compare the dude stuff, and then they'll watch it from there on, and then stop watching it there. No, y'all have to watch my whole video, same way y'all doing Todd Foxes. <laughs> okay, watch my whole dang video. I make them for a reason, and that's to be watched. <laughs> Thanks for the likes, though. I do have more likes and more views on it. That's cool. I enjoy that. That means you people are watching more than 15 minutes of the video. That's good. That's great. You know. Uh, but dang, folks. <laughs> You're letting Todd beat me. <laughs> Y'all watching this whole stuff. But also other videos that are... Um, other videos that are, are, are ranking upper and the only reason why these videos you can see these videos is because Joe had a uh, Joe had took down all his videos on his channel so Joe's videos won't return back to you know re return to his video to his channel until in December and I know Joe's gonna put all his videos back in December and we want Joe to put all his videos up watch Joe not put all his videos up Joe plans to not put up all the videos that incriminate him and we know Joe we know Joe Joe don't want to incriminate himself Joe has done stuff to incriminate him <laughs> What, my video is shorter than, than his? Hold up. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know what? That is right. Uh, that's right. Sh the shorter the video is. Yep, yep, that too. So y'all need to start. When I make these videos, y'all need to, after the video, or any of my videos, y'all need to start hitting that comment section and putting crap up there. All right? Because you letting Todd Fox out do me. And I think Todd also has another video up here too. Hold on. Todd has quite a few videos up here. Uh, I might have more videos to him, but I think all Todd's videos made it. They were up here one time. True Bones Zoo. What's this? This looks new.
Ah, uh, I worry about that. I'll look at that later. Uh, but you see some of Joe's true boss. Joe tried to take this. Joe's been trying to take this video down for a long time. He hasn't been able to do it because I don't. Because I, I think when it comes to this video, YouTube actually has a spine. <laughs> yeah, you are a damn little fox. I, I, I did my damn video. Uh, <laughs> and here's True Bone Stalker. <laughs> and you see all the Joe. So I don't know how what's gonna happen when Joe comes back. But yeah, here's Unreal Illusion by True Bone. So this is Joe other channel. But uh, yeah, y'all folks need to start leaving me some good comments and stuff like that because you always do it for Ty. You don't do it for me. Uh, yeah. So where is Ty Fox's other videos? Is this it? Yeah. See here. See Ty Fox has one, two videos. Now I think he has one more over here, which is doing pretty good ranking, because people are because it, it's like people are now looking for anything that's True Bones. All right. And most of that is because of these. Remember the marathons I did? Those whole day marathons and stuff? Well, some of those marathons made Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> some of those marathons uh, made... <laughs> Here it is. Here it is, folks. Anyone know about Trubo stealing assets from Bliss Neowiz? And here's the funny thing about this, you all. This link, this was published. <laughs> yes! <laughs> People on Reddit are talking about this buffoon. But here's the thing. Remember Joe took this video down? Remember he took it down? You remember he took it down? And the reason why Joe took this down, because Joe took this video down around the day that this was published, which was three months ago. Three months ago. When, when whoever published this, Joe came over and he saw it. And then he ran over her and took it down. <laughs> oh, Joe, that's not good. Yes, yeah. So there are more. There are a lot of posts about Joe on Reddit. A whole bunch of them. And I found them all. I even found the more recent one. And 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 it, <laughs> it was about Jay. Well, I, I, y'all gonna look for True Bones on Reddit. I'll let you all look at them. But Joe took this down. And. It was for the simple fact, and I'm thinking he took that took this down because it got on Reddit. So when you post a video of mine on Reddit, Joe's gonna try to take it down because Joe don't want the stuff on Reddit. Yes. So if you all want to go over Reddit and come over here and post any of my videos about Joe, you sure can. You can post the videos about Joe. Now, Joe, that doesn't mean that Joe Spielman Peak himself can steal my videos and then post them up on his channel. That doesn't mean that, Joe. I said you can take the link and share my videos from my channel. If you have, I mean, I know a lot of you have been done in by Joe. I know a lot of you all can't stand the man. I know a lot of you all just for the simple fact of want him to just be gone off the internet or just, just, just disappear, you know, because he's just a foul old man who lives with his mom. <laughs> sound like Sally now his mom <laughs> and uh come over to reddit post my videos get the name true bones out there I didn't know I mean I was never on reddit before and when I went and did this did I just did a say it's like okay so Joe's on reddit so let me just see all, this, all the stuff Joe's been typing about reddit and here it is Anyone know about True Bones Reddit? Uh, your attention, please. True Bones Reddit. So here's some more stuff. Uh, I don't know what this is about. This thread is archive. Comes could be post. Attention. So I don't know what this is. True, True Bones on Reddit. So Joe's act. Joe has been. Joe is actively over here on Reddit. Uh, posting stuff. Ten months ago, he posted this uh, a couple days. So Joe's getting views. See, Joe's getting views by making his links on, from his channel invisible or unlisted. See, he makes his stuff unlisted and then hides the then hides the uh, then hides the playlist, and then from his playlist he would go in and post his stuff. So, so he his stuff ain't really going off his YouTube channel because I was trying to figure out how is Joe? How did Joe take down all of his videos, but he's still getting views? And I had to figure out like. 
So I came over to Reddit. I had a theory. It's like he's probably posting the stuff up where people can still see it. So I come over here to Reddit, and yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He's posting all his videos over here on Reddit. I have found some other videos. Like he's got a good sum. I mean, he, and he's on here, and he's and he stays on Reddit propagating lies. Also, especially about me and and and, and Sally Reagan making false DMCs. They try, he's trying to make it like he's a victim when he's not. He's the victimizer. So, if you all want to clear the air over here on Reddit, because I have no time to go on Reddit and make posts. I really don't. Uh, here it is. Here it is, more advertisement on Reddit. So this is the other way Joe is making his money. By coming over here to Reddit and posting his stuff. He said, this is archived. New comments cannot be posted. Uh, so I don't know if, if he's coming over here and archiving his stuff so nobody can come behind him. But somebody needs to come over to Reddit and set the record straight about True Bones. He's infested. He infested this place. I mean, he got this whole place infested. <laughs> this was back in 2017. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. So, okay. So, other truth behind True Bones and Make Him Exposing Pirate Joe. Uh, so this is the I'm sorry video. And I forgot somebody deleted this, but this was actually the video to Powerbox Labs apology video. Now Powerbox Lab apology video was directed towards me because of what Joe did afterwards. Because Joe mainly attacked me for the video, because that video is what led to the deletion of his uh to the deletion of his uh, uh Sketchfab account. And they saw how bad Joe and he felt bad about it. I mean, that, that this is what the video about him, I'm sorry about, and that's why he took the video down because he didn't want me being attacked by Joe anymore. And I tried to explain it probably by the like, no, don't worry about it. Keep the video up because this is, I mean, him attacking me only just solidifies the fact that he's a crook and a criminal. So what probably by the did, he just, he just went ahead and you can have the video then. Put it up on your, and that's what I did. And Joe's been trying to take that channel down every time. Every scheme he comes up to take the video down, I find a way to get around it. His last scheme was privacy complaints. He got the video down off a couple people's channel, but I kind of talked to YouTube and let them know. It's like, no, no, he can't. He no, no, mm -mm, no, he can't do privacy. He's too busy out there trying to sell himself as as, as the stolen content creator he is. So once YouTube and me had an understanding about what Joe claims to be privacy isn't privacy, well, they let my video stay up. Now I haven't had a problem since. So Joe doesn't have that tool no more. But Reddit, it seems to be the place. If you really, if we really want to get the word out about this troll, it seems like Reddit is the place to be. It seems like Reddit is the place to come and uh, talk about Joe. Uh, also, here it is. Here it is right here. Let's type in uh, Jamie Anderson. This is the Reddit. <laughs> uh, what's this? So this is Joe. This is Joe. Um, yeah, this is Joe on uh, Reddit. Epic Games is suing, is, is using DMCA to intimidate and extort people. And here's it. It's official, folks. We have been doing for <laughs> So he actually writes this garbage over here. Now, this is his post. This was one month ago. And, uh... He made this post, and as a matter of fact, here are all his posts, uh, and, and basically most of them are basically um, him selling stuff. That's that's all it is. He's just selling stuff. That's all he's doing. So after he shut down all his videos on his other channel, he just came over here to Reddit and started uploading this garbage over here. Uh, let's go and look at this one. See here's 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 Joe again. See here's another one he posted. 
OMG used to see these mega rants about how Epic Games is extorting Gumroad and others via effect DMC notices on YouTube and how it worked on Gumroad. It's a hoax, fraud, and Epic Games is getting sued by that 14-year-old. Now, this is stuff, this is propaganda he, he's up here lying about because Joe wants to put himself in the same position as this kid. Well, the thing about Joe's position, the little kid is, the little kid didn't steal nothing from Epic. It, he just, all he did was make the game harder to play and made people kind of angry. Joe was actually stealing their stuff and selling it. Now, what is stealing people stealing their stuff and selling it has to do with a little kid hoaxing other players by pranking them with with cheat codes? Nothing. And he try he tries this every day, every day, people. And now he's on Reddit spreading these lies. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is the one he keeps going to, but let's look. Uh, Epic Games imposter that needs to be proved first. <laughs> this is simply untrue and and a true sign of Pollyanna previously. So he's over here spreading the same garbage over here trying to be the victim but as you can see some people come over here and they actually call him out for the liar he is but here we are over here some guy named game developers beware You're like well, who is this guy i don't know who this guy is but it's like this this guy this guy is a crook who lives in his mom's garage selling stolen game assets epic took down his content from Gumro because he ripped games from models he ripped games game models from their game fortnite don't believe this crook watch this video what video could he be talking about let's see OMG! Bones. OMG on Reddit! Someone is telling on Joe! <laughs> he is a scammer and has nothing and has nothing who stole from Epic and Epic came for him simple and plain. That video is the proof of why Epic took his channel away and almost sued Gumro over his over his stupidity. Also check out this video of why he was kicked off a of sketch fan. This is the same guy, Joseph Earl McPeak, owner Owner of the pirate website and YouTube channel True Bones Motions. Oh, really? What what video could this be? I wonder. Hmm. Holy yeah. cheese snaps! <laughs> it's pretty. It's Parallax Balic Labs. <laughs> oh snap, Joe! Look, it's Parabolic Labs, and look what he's doing. Um. Uh, oh, it, it's a link to my channel, Joe. Oh my gosh, somebody's like watching my channel about you, Joe. I thought you thought people. I thought you said nobody's watching this. Uh, this moron steals content and sells it, then getting mad at Epic for wanting him to stop stealing their stuff. What a clown, folks. Wow. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, here it is. Here's uh, Game Developers Beware. This guy, who is this guy? This guy named Chuck this Pick Peek stole the avatars and motions for Fortnite and sold the content on Gumroad. This is after he made four infomercials on YouTube telling everyone to come to come and buy the Fortnite game assets on YouTube from him. I can't... <clears throat> I contacted Epic and told them this con man ripped the game assets from the game and made infomercials of how you can buy the stolen content off Gumbro. Epic took down one of his channels. Then he made another channel to repeat the selling of the content. Epic took the videos down again, almost losing his new channel. Then then they went to Gumbro and where he <laughs> and were and were going to sue them over this clown. Oh, then they went to Gumbro and where they were going to sue him over this clown selling their stuff. Gumro finally took it down, and this comment has been butthurt ever since. Laughing out loud, laughing out loud. You see, Joseph Everpeak has been the owner, owner. Oh, Joseph Everpeak has been in the owner's ear of Gumro, lying to him that the DMC clans were, were, were fake by listening to Joseph Everpeak, aka the owner of True Bones. Motions lied to them, claiming the notices were fake. They almost got sued by Epic. Laughing out loud, yes, it happened, and and he is trying to rid this, this topic. <laughs> He's trying to ride this topic to claim victim, but what he did is plain piracy and copyright infringement, and has nothing to do with this topic. Check out his video. Check out this video I made for Epic about this clown. Three days later, three days later, he took his YouTube channel down for piracy. Somebody else, somebody make my video. Somebody steal my, somebody stealing my links. True oh. This Gumbra is what you get. Get a Robo Shin One made this, this video. Why did he say he made this video? That's weird. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Joe comes in. Not true, Duke Bean. Good pick the Cupcake Scoop Run. Stop spreading false information for crying out loud. 
Uh, you are obviously wrong, as Epic reserves all rights to this content made by using their game. They do, they may delete any video they wish. Are you hired something? Epic did not remove any videos of content that belongs to them. They are using the DMC as an extortion tool. Put your videos back before we sue you, stupid. No, they basically said stop using our stuff. And and uh, stop using our stuff or we'll take your videos down, stupid, because you stole our stuff and trying to sell it. Let's see what else. <laughs> Somebody says uh, Tim Sweeney, uh, you Tim Sweeney Epic. I think this is, what's this too? Oh, they're trying to, oh, they're, they're talking about the Blizzard thing. So I'll, I'll leave that alone talk about that another day. Uh, but it needs to be talked about. I need to. I need to do videos about other topics other than this buffoon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh, Nocturne Records come back and say, "This is simply untrue." The beauty of proof is that it can be argued. Provide a shred of evidence to support your claims. Who dash something <laughs> that there is no discussion to be made. You, you, your opinion is rendered to be irrelevant. Damn, Joe, even they say you're irrelevant about usage rights. <laughs> there is no such thing as usage rights. You hear that, Joe? Joe? Joey? They're trying to educate you, dude. There is no such thing as usage rights. It's, it's a made-up word. Joe? Someone else agrees, and it's not me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a made-up word. You made it. You made it up. You made it up, Joe. You made the whole thing up. You're the only one who uses usage rights. You're the only one who uses that term. It doesn't exist. You made a brand new term that has no validity in what you're doing, which is stealing. Copyright Act, U.S. defined clearly. This mention just makes it clear that you can't tell the difference between fact and law and rumor and opinion. These people know you, Joe. They know you're a buffoon stealing other people's stuff. They know it. They know it, dude. They know it. They know it. They hear you are over here trying to be the victim when they know you're just a stupid idiot. That's it, Joe. They know you're a stupid idiot. You get on your channel saying Wingen's a stupid idiot, but but it's just you by yourself who says that about me. But I have legions of people who say the exact same thing to you. So it's me. In the opinions of many versus you, you, and yourself. <laughs> oh, there is no such thing as usage rights. Uh, I would appreciate if you would stop creating alt accounts just to troll people. <laughs> Joey, Joey, how does this person know the same things I know about you? How? How, Joe? So you got angry at this dude and made some alt accounts and then chased him. You chased the dude. You, ch you chased him. That's what you always do, Joe. Maybe I should, like, maybe I'm going to send him a message and, and link him and link him to your to the patch thing so he can know what type of villain he's dealing with. So here we go. True Bones. This is simply untrue. And a true son of a Pollyanna prima donna, and, and, and this is something Joe made up another term. You cannot find nowhere else but in Joe's brain. Uh, Epic, you are being used in an extortion plot. Someone is using your email to spoof fake DMC claims, and they are <laughs> used in a menacing and extorting way to intimidate people into taking their channels down. Stop spreading misinformation <laughs> please don't say stupid things like you just did above it's obvious you don't know anything about usage rights <laughs> oh jesus let's see let's see if usage rights to me um uses right usage rights let's see what's this is. Uses rights are rights granted to any individual by an artist to use something for a specific purpose or for a particular period. For example, I gave usage rights to my client to print photos and display for personal use slash wedding invites or to share them on social media as as much as they do. So, hmm, interesting. Because, Joe, that would mean that you have to have went somewhere and got documentation for the uses rights of selling somebody else's stuff. Now we know you don't have it because 
We know you. <laughs> we know that your stuff is being taken down. We know you're getting copyright complaints from, from everybody, mom and their daddy. But you just ignore them. So we know you don't have the rights, Joe. So this whole argument you're having with this guy, I'm going to tell you who won. And, spoiler alert, it wasn't you. You were wrong. And the fact that this dude just owned you proves it. And then you come back and insult him. Not only do you insult him, but you do the same thing you did to me, which is to stalk this man under multiple alts, trying to discredit him. Your whole thing is to discredit anybody who knows the truth about you. That's why you went to YouTube, took down my movie, then ran yourself over there to render to uh, Real Illusion to get them not to only kick me out, but to take back my hard-earned work. That's your thing. It's called manipulation, and you're bad at it. <laughs> Very bad at it. Sooner or later, you're going to understand, just because you put it on glasses, funny nose, and mustache, nobody can't tell that you under it. Moron. Uh, <laughs> Epic Games Imposer. That needs to... And the guy says it's true. There's also been reports of email being a fake and not act socially with Epic Games. That's why you have to contact their support first before spreading mis misinformation. If a moderator could look through this and help me out, moderators don't work for Epic, Epic Games here. <laughs> Putting this aside, you don't own gameplay. That is owned by the game publisher. Only reason you can, you can monetize, monetize their IP is because the publisher is not enforcing its rights. If they decide they don't want anyone on YouTube to make videos or monetize their IP. It's their right. When you make something original, people need a license. Oh, here you go, Joe. Joey, here you go. License slash permission before they use your work. So, Joe, this is what it means to have usage rights. That's the definition of usage rights. Usage rights doesn't mean just because it's free, you can steal it and then sell it. No, that's theft. Usage rights is that you have permission to actually make money or profit off the stuff that they have. You have some type of agreement with them. That's what usage rights really mean, Joe. It doesn't mean usage rights. Ooh, that means dudes will be peeking, stealing thing he wants and steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Joe should just try something from a Nintendo game and then try arguing fair use. <laughs> So let's get up. Let's go to the good stuff, y'all. Uh, it says, "Yes, this is a scammer hacker. It happened to me as well. There is no XI Epic egg dot." Well, Joe, we proved that this guy exists. <laughs> you proved it that the guy exists, and you also. <laughs> there, well, whereas other game companies don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing about Epic. Here's the thing. You can't take anything from Epic. Because Epic is like freak, is acting like freaking Disney now. They they really are, and, and you can't like just simply like take their characters and and their animations or whatever and make porn with them. They they won't go for that. They'll take your stuff down. Um, you can't make you can't make their characters do racist stuff. They'll they'll take it down. If you do gameplay, Fortnite gameplay, and you're playing a game in a way that everybody else is playing it, and you're not doing nothing like cheating. Or finding glitches and exploiting glitches and stuff. Now, you can exploit glitches and make videos about it, but you have to address it to Epic and tell Epic, please fix this in the video. But you can't sit back and exploit it and use it as a way to cheat, you know, and teaching other people a way to cheat. They will take your video down. They want you to show gameplay of their game and advertise their game as a way to have fun and for everybody else to enjoy. They don't want people coming in and making the game bad and give it bad reviews and stuff like that because the cheaters and people show people no they, they, that's why they they they, they put a they, they put a kibosh on all that stuff i mean it, it went on for a while and they started coming down on those people they don't want you to exploit their game to make you money on youtube if you're going to use their game on youtube do it in a way that's tasteful taking their content showing people how to steal their content they that's considered distasteful use of their content and they can pull it because they do actually own the gameplay. They own everything in that game. Even if you're playing it, they own it. But they do have discretion on how people 
use it. They give you a free license. Once you abuse that free license, well, then they come in and punish you for it. And that's what happened to Joe. Joe had every right to play their game and show gameplay from their game. But Joe didn't have the right to steal their stuff and publish it in the way he did, which was giving out links to where you can actually download the content from their game, which is totally illegal against their terms of service, patent, trademark, and EULA. And trademark. Uh, that's a trademark already? I probably did. What Joe did was theft, IP theft, at the highest degree. And due to the fact that now we know that Gumroad doesn't actually have a copyright agent to report to about anything, that just makes it post-positive pure. I mean, that's actually, I think that is against uh, the law somewhere, but I, I don't know nothing about it. I have to ask my lawyer about it when I see him, when I see him in a few weeks. So, here we go, folks. <laughs> this guy comes up and says that this guy named Jamie Anderson uh, at Epic Games took down his video. Um, I don't know why they took down his video. For that rare over 500k views, according to Epic, this game spot, they can strike videos that include leaks. Leaks or modded game files. So, here the thing is. They took down this guy's stuff because he was putting out leaks in modded game files. That's a no-no. What Joe did on his channel multiple times was showing leaks in modded game files of their game data. They don't want that. They want you to play the game. Fair. Show us your skill playing the game and that's it. You can you can put that publish it all you want to. <laughs> How do you spell Jamie again? <laughs> Oh man, that video! <laughs> so and, and, and he violated, and they took it down. Five hundred k subscribers. <laughs> so on my channel for that red with five hundred. If we pose a false copyright ones, so he got five hundred k subs. So the thing is, kid, don't post stuff about leaks or modded game files unless you're making a video saying, "Hey, Epic, check this out. We got this dude doing." I mean, you have to actually be honest and and not make videos telling people how they can do it too. It would have been better if you made a video saying, okay, um, okay, Fortnite, this guy is doing this. Here it is. He's leaking his stuff and he's modding the game files. Blah, blah, blah. You need to stop him. The same way I did to Joe. Exact same way. I even used their... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hold on. I even used their... their Fortnite thing, and they never took this video down. They they took it all of Joe's stuff down before they even thought about taking this video because this video is using their content in a way that's good for them. They're not gonna take down something that's good for them, showing loyalty, uh, how people show loyalty to their company because they want a decent game that's like that's like not interrupted by people like Joe who steal the stuff and sell it. That's that's all to it, folks. But <laughs> Joe comes over here, reads this, and goes victim. <laughs> he comes over here and says, "These are my thoughts. I think silly pick from Polybook Studios and Wingen Shin from da 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 on YouTube are both behind this. I think Epic is being sued. Is being used as a pariah and an extortion plot." This is no, this, there is no J.B. Anderson. There is, there is also no Joy, J. Choi at Epic Games. Epic, please, restore your videos before we sue you, thanks. <laughs> Who is we, Joe? <laughs> Who is we? <laughs> so, folks, what more can I say? Uh, but I think... It's time for us to go to Reddit and start posting on Reddit. I'm going to start posting on Reddit videos, my videos, about this crook named Joe. And watch Joe try to go and try to take it down. I know Joe. Joe's going to try to take it down. I know it. Joe's going to try to take it down. I know he is. He has no choice but to come and take it down when I post it up here. He has no choice. And I know he's going to do it. He's going to say, they're hurting my business. But I'm going to make sure I get in contact with Reddit and let them know, 
this is what I plan on posting. This guy gonna come in here and say he's I'm hurting his business, but let me tell you something about his business. It doesn't exist. He's lying to you that he has a business. Let me show you what his business is. He takes stolen content from games and resells it on Gumroad. Now here is the letter that Epic sent Gumroad about him selling this stuff and them ignoring them, them ignoring Epic, and Epic coming down with their final letter saying, okay, then fine, don't take it down, we'll just sue you. We'll get more money out of it, by the way. And after that, Joe relationship from, uh, from Gumroad probably kind of soured because he can't get an answer out of them for anything. He even stopped doing videos about even sending them messages because he don't get nothing back. So, if y'all want to take a video of mine and share it onto Reddit that exposes this clown as he's over here on Reddit getting ready to sell stuff on Reddit with his videos, do it. The video I most prefer is the epic video where I show him stealing their stuff. My other video is the uh, boycott gum rope videos. Those videos are great. Especially the one after the fact we found out that they were about to get sued by Epic because they want to protect this idiot who keeps lying to them. I think that's I think that's gold. But anyway, folks, I think I've been on here long enough. And I think I've been on here to tell you all an awful lot. What's been on my mind. And this stuff, this type of stuff in my cause. When I put together the when I put together like Joe over there on Reddit uh, over there on Reddit and then I actually did a search about True Bones on Reddit and then I got that one search <laughs> I got that one search result <laughs> this is this and this is funny when I type this in and then this came up first this was at the top of the list back in June Joe took my video down three months ago this was posted and then June uh, July he took it down at, at around July late July early August I can't remember but that was like a month after he posted this Joe found this Joe found this post went to my video took it down and made it and then went back as alts I mean if you go back and read this Joe would came back as alts Joe came back as alts. Those are Joe's alts responding to this after that guy posted that. His whole thing is to hide the truth, slander, and then lie and say, you don't have proof. I mean, I, this is what this whole video is about. Joe taking down stuff, uh, put up misleading information, hiding his other alts, giving out more misinformation, going and trying to try to say his case is the same as this guy's when this guy's stuff got taken down for a totally different reason why Joe's stuff got taken down. But it's still under their policy about posting videos. And if you do anything under the no-no list, well, your stuff won't get, get, get taken down. So if you're up here giving out links to stolen content, Joe, your stuff is going to be expected to be taken down. And that's exactly what I want people to know. Because the whole time when Joe's stuff was up there, Joe was like, it's free. You see, I know the copyright law. I know this. Joe didn't know crap. And I had to prove to all his viewers, like, okay, so here's, here's your king of, uh, of thieves here. I got his stuff taken down. And how I got it taken down? I did it legally. I didn't have to file a fake DMC notice. I just had to contact the people who owned the stuff. They took it down. And since they took it down and not I, that means everything I've said about him being a crook and a thief and being a plain idiot moron is true. <laughs> because everything he said to you all about him uh, having the legal right because it's free and I can sell it. It's free. I mean, that's all. That, that that's his legal argument of stealing people's stuff because he got it for free. He got it for free. He can sell it because he got it for free. What's the difference between you selling it and them going to the same place you got it for free? Nothing. Nothing. Due to the fact you want to sell it and make a buck and lie to people, he actually lied in that video. Uh, the Power Back Live video saying that the animations you download from Mixamo don't work as good as his, but the motions he has from Mixamo, the motions he has are from Mixamo. He claims because he uses new technology called BVH, 
all the problems with mixed emotions are solved. So right there, he was pulling the con because FBX is the format at the time was basically the standard. BBH is what, what you would like, is a backup, basically. But everybody uses FBX. They have been using FBX for well over 10 years now. BBH has been not really used that much. Unless you deal with older programs. Joe's so whole problem is, is that his lies are getting thinner by the day. Matter of fact, they're so thin now that they're transparent. Before, now think about it, Joe. Before you started attacking me, nobody knew the stuff they know now about you. You could have had a reign of terror for many years to come if you didn't do the one thing which was come after me. If you had a time machine, if somebody actually if you had a time machine to go back, what would be the one thing you would have done? I think the one thing you would have done first was not associate yourself with me. I think that would be the first thing. The first time I encountered Joe in his current state and form right now was when he was hiding as this troll called Houdini. And he will come and taunt my work. Every time he called, I mean, he called, he called me racist names. He did a lot of stuff under the name Houdini. I got videos about Houdini. I didn't know who Houdini was. But once I started doing some snooping around, I found out Houdini was Joseph Ermey Peak. That's who he was. I was I had encountered this troll, and what I did to that troll was just basically block him off my channel and ignore him. That's exactly what I did. But then Joe reinvented himself to another troll called Iclone Zero. Iclone Zero was Joseph Ermey Peak. He was ripping off stuff from Real Illusion. Then he made a website where you can download the stuff that he ripped from Real Illusion. Then he would go over to Real Illusion at iClone Zero and advertise the stuff to come and buy it. But you have to get it off of True Bones. Everything on iClone Zero, iClone Lone Zero site was basically Joe's. Everything. The whole site was set up by him and was for him. It wasn't until when Joe started taking down my content, so I had to start fighting back. It had to know who I was dealing with, and I found out. I found out. It took me a while to figure out how to deal with him, but now I have dealt with him. And he knows I know how to deal with him. He knows it. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's no longer the Strysand effect. It's the True Bones tractor beam. <laughs> So yeah, so so this is gonna probably be our new front in the war against stupidity, uh, which is going to have to be uh, Reddit, I guess Reddit. So as you can see, I joined. <laughs> I joined. I'm here, and uh, I hope you guys join too and come over here and uh, uh, epics uh, and join the conversation over here. And don't forget, everybody, don't forget, I do have a Discord. You can come over here and join my Discord. The link should be in the description. Hold on, let me see if the link is in the description. Uh, where is it? Where is my exposed attention? Uh, let's, go, let's go to my channel real quick. Attention. Uh, let's, go, let's go to my channel. Let's see. Uh, here, here it is. Uh, you can click this link right here and uh, invite invalid. Oh, well, let, let, let's fix that, folks. Let's fix that. Exclusive. Let's go over here. Studio beta. On Reddit, <laughs> on Reddit. Uh, so I got. I want to come down here to other features. Go to my live stream, and what I'm going to do is come right over here. <laughs> Please post my videos up here. <laughs> oh, Reddit. I mean, <laughs> I'm there. 
Don't worry, I will. Um, oh, God, man, I can't believe I got five people watching. Oh, you know what? That's because I don't have this up. Hold on. Because uh, I've been reading from this. <laughs> and I got more people over here talking to me than I do over on over here. But damn, I did it again. Two and two and a half hours. I gotta gotta wrap this up, folks. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here and put a a real link over here to Discord. I, I think I put an expired link up there, but I think it's time for me to put a link up here. Uh, see, invite people. Copy, paste, and it should update. Okay, it's updated now. So if you want to join our Discord, and uh, I'm going to be making other rooms for my Discord, but um, my Discord's pretty cool. I like my Discord. I like it. I like my Discord. I think my Discord is cool. And uh, I think it's awesome. And uh, we got some people in here. I just made this Discord. I got plenty of rooms for you all to come into. Um, um, once y'all rank up, um, once I get enough people, and some of the people have been here already, rank up. Uh, uh, I got to start making people into mods. I have two mods already who are here when I'm not. <laughs> uh, some of these people come in here and they talk about Joe and whatever, but um, they're in a the general chat. But I'm going to move all the conversation about Joe into a whole new text channel. So... People can come here and they can actually come and talk. If they want to talk about Joe, they can go to that channel, you know, and uh, and uh, they can do that. Um, so I mean, it's it's growing. My channel is growing. I got a lot of people. What the heck is this? New mentions. <laughs> Live streams, videos, all the other good stuff is all right there in my. I mean, this is different. So I got two discords. Um, I got. Uh, I got this one and I got my main one which is going to be this one now this was well, this is just the one where I talk to people where I really talk to people I know about stuff and this one is the one for people who like uh, like uh, Mr. Squarepegs uh, the bat guy and everybody else can um, they're tired you can join it if you want to if you got discord but that's where people come and talk to me one on one and I talk back to them and you know what when I got my when I when I when I pass out and go